You're welcome to this wonderful time on Seas of Destiny. Our Seed of Destiny is titled today, Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this precious one watching. Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Wednesday, the 10th day of February 2021. Our topic today on the Seeds of Destiny is Thoughts on Spirituality. The Bible says, Draw near to God and He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. That's James chapter 4, verse 8. Thought for the day. The place you give to God in your life determines the place that God gives to you. In our earlier study, if you remember, we saw that spirituality is the bedrock of destiny. We noted that you cannot have a great destiny with a shallow spiritual life. Today, we'd like you to take note of the following key thoughts on spirituality, especially as it applies to life and destiny fulfillment. The first is that spirituality gives bearing to life and destiny. Luke chapter 15, 11 to 19. Bearing can be likened to the control tower of an aircraft. Just as an aircraft crashes when it is out of touch with the control tower, destiny crashes when spirituality is out of place. Number two, the quality of your devotion to God determines the quality of your destiny on earth. Genesis chapter 32, verse 24 to 28. To succeed with God is to succeed in life. To fail with God is to fail in life. Spirituality is a major course that determines our success in all courses of life. The quality of your devotion to God determines the quality of your destiny. The third is the place that you give to God determines the place that God finds in the place that you find in life. James 4:8. The place you give to God in your life determines the place that God gives you. So when you draw near to God, he will draw near to you. James 4, 8. And the fourth thing is, you cannot follow the way of, of God and miss the road in life. John 14, 6. You cannot follow the way, which is Jesus, and miss it in life. To get it right with God is to get it right in life. So instead of saying, Lord, why are things not working in my life? It is better to say, Lord, is my relationship with you working? Everything in your life will work when your relationship with God begins to work. Our counsel is give priority attention to your relationship with God above all things. Remember this, that the place you give to God in your life determines the place that God gives you in life. Praise God. What's our assignment? Number one, make up your mind to give God quality time in personal devotion. Number two, do not neglect your personal prayer altar. Praise God. Let's pray. Say after me, Lord, I thank you for the privilege of relationship with you. I ask that you give me the grace to maintain persistent prayer life. Oh God, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I'm excited. I thank God you prayed that prayer. And I believe that the Lord is on the throne and will help all of us to make it with God in Jesus' name. You'd like to be born again today or you backslidden, you know that your life is not right with God and you want me to pray for you, then simply pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And before I close, I wish you a very happy birthday. It's your birthday today. May the hand of God be very mighty upon your life. 
May you have increase on every side. May God sustain you and sustain his hand in your life and in your destiny. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Peace.